This is so exciting. Three minutes until it starts. Thank you, three. Sorry, it's a theater thing. From the show, the stage manager will periodically let the cast know how long it is until the show begins. Everyone responds back to acknowledge. Sounds kind of like being on a submarine. I suppose, just without the fear of your world is putting it on you. I don't know. You actors are a special breed. There's no way I could go up on stage in front of hundreds of people and do what you do. I'm pretty sure my world would implode on me, or at least it I would I would more than likely piss myself. Either way, you get wet. I've never gotten nervous on stage, actually. I think most actors get at least a little bit nervous, so I guess I'm lucky. Cool as a cucumber every time. Mm. With all those theater superstitions out there, I'm surprised you dare say that. There is nothing in the actor's handbook that says you can't talk about your confidence. There's an actor's handbook? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, you guys are the best for coming over here to watch this with me. It really means a lot for your support. We wouldn't miss this for the world. I mean, just a few months ago, you were in an off-Broadway production, and then the next thing you know, boom, you're gonna be on an episode of my most absolute favorite TV show. Right? Uh, I guess someone from Law and Disorder must have been in the audience at one of our performances of Shattered Dreams, because I got a call for an audition the very next day. That's our boy. Oh, hey, Anita, we now know someone famous. Ooh, can I have your autograph? Oh, of course, why not? Get a pen. Oh, oh. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Uh. Gross. Dude. Who? Anita. Thank you for being my biggest fan. Um, thanks. Low main smudge is a nice touch, bro. It's a one of a kind. Might be worth something someday. Hey, I heard that autographs with low main sauce have the highest value. I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on. Turn it up. These are some of their stories. Okay, from what I understand, I should be in this opening scene. Ooh, look, it's Ice Sweet Tea. Hey, did you meet him or his partner? Dude, I, I forgot her name, but I want to freaking marry her. Shh. Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. Oh, look, look, there I am. Yeah, I'll take one with everything. Where? I don't see you. Those are my arms. I'm the one with the red shirt. Um, yeah, I, I recognize your hands. Okay, now I'm making the hot dog. Yeah, fascinating. I mean, do we actually get to see your face? Shh. Listen. Here you go. There are my hands again. Look, I actually touched I Sweet T's hands when I handed him the hot dog. Okay, I'm sure the camera's going to pan up and show my face now. They didn't show my face. No, but you handled that wiener like a pro. I'm so sorry, Matthew. I know how much this meant to you, but, but we got to see your hands and we heard you say, here you go. That's so awesome. They didn't show my face. I know you must be disappointed. Disappointed? Disappointed? I can't add that to my acting reel. What the hell? They gave me one line of dialogue and they couldn't pan the flipping camera up for two seconds to show my face while I said it. How do I put this on my CV? Law and disorder, faceless hot dog vendor? No, of course not, silly. I mean, you obviously had a face. How else would you have said, here you go? Ow. Sorry. Watch the rest of the episode, okay? 
No. Why not? Law and disorder just screwed me out of becoming famous. Dude, look, I know you're upset, but it could be worse. How? Oh, how could it be worse? They didn't show my freaking face, Greg. Well, I, they, they could have cut the audio out of you saying your line. Ah, stop hitting me. Well, stop being an insensitive buffoon. Mm -hmm. Well, d anyhow, dude, Matthew, buddy, friend, just, you did a great job. You were an amazing hot dog vendor. You handed Ice Sweet Tea his hot dog like a true professional and your voice sounded very convincing. I'm gonna be the laughing stock amongst my peers. No, you won't. Don't be silly. Look, being an actor isn't easy. You know that. Sometimes you're gonna have to do some stuff that isn't exactly glamorous. Do you think guys are proud about doing commercials about erectile dysfunction or hemorrhoid cream or worse? Oh, that's probably the only type of work I'm gonna get from now on. Oh, why me? Dude, 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 dude. You're still young. It'll probably be a bit before you're pitching either of those things. Dude, look, I'm sorry. You're right. It sucks. But you did a great job, man. We're both very proud of you. This, this was supposed to be my big break. A stepping stone towards my dreams. I mean, look at what that Heinz ketchup commercial did for Matt LeBlanc. Nobody knew who he was before he did the work on the hot dog in that one. What are you talking about? Matt LeBlanc from Friends. Yeah, I know who he is. Uh, he, he did a Heinz commercial in 1987 that essentially rocketed his career. Before that, nobody knew who he was. I had no idea. And just a few years later, bam, he's starring in one of the most successful sitcoms in TV history, all thanks to a hot dog. Hello? Oh. Yeah. Hey, Tony. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Oh! Really? Uh, yes, uh, uh, of course. Okay. <gasps> Thanks. Who's that? my agent sounded like good news apparently i sweet tea said i did a great job dude and he also said i had supple hands creepy yeah and the producers they want me to come back to film another episode that's great hot dog vendor again no that's the best part they want me to play a plumber fixing the pipes under a sink <laughs> isn't that exciting Yes, of course. Um, it's very exciting. See, everything turned out all right. If I keep this up, I may be on a sitcom someday. And after that, the movies. I'm going to get there eventually because dreams can come true. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Uh -huh.